Hey, hey, this is your girl, Carla Renata, a.k.a. The Curvy Film Critic. Audiences may recognize Miss Amber Stevens-West from NBC's The Carmichael Show, but now, baby, she's over at CBS, and she is happy together with the hilarious Damon Wayans Jr., Having just given birth to her new sweet baby girl, Ava, some bloggers and I sat down to talk to Miss Amber about being a new mom, the joys, the pains, and what was the most creative way they used to do so, as well as some insight into her character, Claire. Take a listen. How was your birth? Oh, girl, it was three days. Three days? It was three days, and none of it went according to plan. But in the end, she's here, so it's fine. <laughs> Did they induce labor? Oh, that hurts my feelings. Why was it three days? I was a week overdue. I went in into labor like naturally yeah. I went into labor it just took a long time I finally so that was a Friday then all night that night I labored like lay, sitting on a ball like laying on the side of my bed because I was having contractions like every 10 minutes then Saturday I had a doula that came over to the house she helped me like labor throughout the day and then by the end of Saturday I went to a birthing center because things were finally speeding up I got there and they checked me and they're like you're five and a half six centimeters so I was like cool okay so we're like we're making progress long story short 12 12 hours later, <laughs> they checked me. So I labored all through the night, and she was like, "You're still six centimeters," and I was like, "I give up," because it was I was doing it like all naturally and everything, no drugs. I was at the birthing center. The only thing that I had was um, nitrous oxide, so that was harsh. I worked really hard all night, and then basically she told me I was still six, six centimeters, and I was like, "I'm done." I said my safe word to my husband, which was almond butter, which meant that I needed to go to the hospital. I got an epidural. I took a long nap. Uh, Sunday evening she was born. Oh, wow. 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 Yeah. How difficult is that for you to navigate being a full-time mom working and a full-time mom being a mom? Oh my gosh. Um, Cuz it's new for you so you still It's brand kind of new, it out. but it's kind of like I hate to say it, but it's really easy for me. I don't know why. There's so I think first of all I, I have like the chillest baby ever. She's just <laughs> very calm and she's fit into my world so easily but I think I spent a lot of time while I was pregnant really focused on how I wanted it to all go and I don't know if it was just putting out the right energy or if I just got lucky with a great baby. I knew I wanted to work while I was pregnant. I knew I wanted to bring my baby to my work. I don't get to relax when I get home anymore. That's new. You're just so obsessed with your baby that you, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's really been so much fun. You know, she doesn't do a ton yet. I can only imagine it'll get harder. Yeah, but for now, it's been really, it's been a pleasure. I really feel very lucky. The beginning of my pregnancy was the hardest, but I wasn't working yet. While we were shooting, you know, you're getting heavier, so you feel more tired and stuff. And But I got lucky and, and worked on a set where everyone was like doting on me at all times like sit down you're okay you know you don't have to stand here hiding my belly was weird but kind of fun you know I had to turn it into like a game other other because in the, in the very beginning I felt really self-conscious and I did feel like I was letting people down by being pregnant and I had to like learn to let that go but you know it was hard because as a woman you're told that you need to like look a certain way especially on tv you feel like pressure sometimes as far as like my energy and everything I felt pretty good I think to the point where I freaked some people out sometimes because I wanted to do more physical stuff and they're like can you stop doing the, the, the falling like on the ground while you're pregnant but it's funny and it's a pad it's fine yeah I think just by the end I started to get a little tired on my feet I got lucky and then and we finished like right before things got tough at the very end oh, yeah. like I th think I still had like five weeks at the after we finished filming to just be at home what was the most creative way they used to hide your belly like literally standing backwards <laughs> like start changing the staging and choreography and making jokes about how it made sense that I was like standing weird that was creative um we tried our best and and I think we succeeded at not making it me holding laundry we didn't want it to be like and then the wife does the laundry in the house and she's hiding the belly I wanted it to be like let's not draw attention to it as much as possible I like so. when you were sick in bed like you sat, oh, they, you yeah, sat they, the whole time that yeah was they, that was creative actually that was a good one they knew ahead of time obviously that they were gonna have to hide me what characteristics would you like for Ava to have and what characteristic do you wish mm -mm, no I don't I don't want you to be like that <laughs> I tend to be a kind of a judgy <laughs> like know-it-all kind of personnel I'm very type a like 
I know how to do it. I know how to do it better than you do, um, which is annoying. Um, it's annoying to me that I'm that way too. Um, so I hope that she doesn't take on too much of that um, because that'll be hard for me because I'll still know better. Um, I like what you said, like to just learn her independence and be confident uh, as early as possible. Amber, your father is a voiceover artist, right? Yeah. So why an actor? Yeah, so yeah. Why did you choose modeling your mother's lane as opposed to choosing what your father's lane was doing voice? I think over? it was just the opportunity arose, and so I just kind of jumped at it and mm-hmm. thought it was fun. It was like, you want to be in this photo shoot? Okay, sure. I get out of school <laughs> for a day. I'll go do that. Um, and <laughs> really, that's what it was. It was like, oh, I get to leave school early on Thursday to go do that. Okay. I think my mom did a great job though of. In the beginning, kind of making sure that I was very comfortable on set. I never had like a show busy mom or anything, so she made it really fun for me because she would make sure that the environment was good, find whoever the teacher was on set or the producers and be like, okay, I'm leaving Amber here by herself. (laughs) And I would have to like do the job that I was hired to do, but I could navigate myself. I could talk to the adults on my own, like no problem. And this was, I was like your daughter's age, like Mm -hmm. 14, right? Uh Something like that. So I was very comfortable on set and she made sure I was in a safe environment. And if it was a weird place, she obviously never left me there. I think I had the confidence to work on set early and it was a nice way of slowly making my way into acting I think because it was it's an easier job there was less pressure I let the writers come up with whatever they want to do and the showrunners and they've got an idea of where they want the show to go what I love so much about our show now is that we've got such a solid relationship between this husband and wife that are early on in their marriage hopefully they'll be together for you know the rest of their lives and so there's going to be ups and downs there it'll be fun for me though to find out what what this character has to go through in order to keep her marriage alive. The characters, they want to start a family. So I think that's something that'll be interesting to see my character become a mother and see how that character is different than myself. Right. That, that'll be fun. How old were you when you got into show business? I started modeling when I was in the seventh grade. Through modeling, started doing commercial work. So it was just like an after school kind of thing because I went to school still. And then it wasn't until I graduated high school that I started actually like really giving acting a shot. Well, Miss Amber, we sure are happy that you gave acting a shot because now we can enjoy you every week at 8.30 on CBS on Happy Together. Thank you so much for taking the time to sit down, you and Miss Tashina Arnold. This is your girl, Carla Renata, a.k.a. The Curvy Film Critic. Until the next time.